I'm David Welfelt. And I'm Judy Welfelt. I'm a photographer, uh, primarily do uh, nature photography and specifically botanical uh, photography. My degree is in horticulture, and so I've had a long time interest in just capturing botanical beauty and interest. So that's. Hey, Judy. Well, I'm a quilter and um, I've been quilting since the 1980s. Uh, my background as far as fabric and textiles goes back to when I was making doll clothes when I was a little girl and I started sewing clothing for myself when I was a teenager. Continued sewing uh, throughout the years, raised our three girls, made hundreds of garments for them. I've been quilting for the last 10 years, I'd say, pretty much, I wouldn't say full-time in the sense of eight hours a day, but full-time in the fact that I always have a project going. And so quilting has just, I don't sew garments anymore. Uh, quilting is my, my passion. I love fabrics, I love colors, I love thread, I love everything that has to do with making a quilt, putting it together. And the, I'm not sure exactly how we came upon the idea of, of collaborating, but somehow we just did. And I thought that would be really cool to quilt, try to quilt some of his photographs. So um, I really don't remember exactly how we came upon that idea, but it's been a really fun project to do. And uh, his his photographs are so amazing and are so three-dimensional. And then when you add thread to them, it really gives them a very cool look, I think, and enhances the, the photograph. Not only enhances it, but just gives it some, some three dimen even more three-dimensional effect. So, so it's been fun to, to put our two art forms together. Digital photography came along. I purchased uh, my first digital camera from a good friend. As I started spending more time outdoors, hiking, just getting exercise, I began noticing more and more wildflowers. And then I began interested, became interested in trying to figure out what the names of these wildflowers are. I'm the kind of a person when I see a plant, I want to know what its name is. And so I spent quite a few years very active in the Kansas Native uh, Plant Society here. And it, I just continued to take more and more botanical type uh, pictures. Some of it was documentary, but then I actually began working harder on just trying to capture more artistic images of plants, leaves, flowers, trees, and the like. And yes, it's a lot of stitching. It's, some people might refer to it as thread painting. Um, some of the photos, um, I've pretty well covered the whole quilt with stitching. Others, it's less. It just depends on the photograph and and uh, what it lends itself to. So it's kind of kind of varies. But some of them are completely stitched. There's really no empty space that's not stitched. Well, a lot of them are here in Harvey County, uh, both uh, Osage Nature Trail out by. Uh, Harvey County East Lake and then Harvey County West Park is another location. And then I have friends throughout the area that have their own native prairie sites that I hike and photograph in. Some of them are taken at botanical gardens. Uh, over the years, my work has taken me to the West Coast. Uh, so a lot of times I have late afternoon or early evening available to visit various botanical gardens. And so I go there to capture uh, images as well. Uh, I look for fall colors, uh, both uh, with dew or frost on them. And I look for um, uh, backlit uh, plants and flowers and leaves that, that show uh, light coming through the leaves and, and the like. So I just, everywhere I go, I'm looking for flowers, leaves, trees, anything that would, uh, uh, make a good photograph. So some are in black and white and some are in color. Long arm 
machine. It's uh, a 12 foot machine that I can load uh, up to a king size quilt on and quilt. Um, my machine is a handy quilter and uh, I have a whole studio in my basement because okay. it does take up a lot of room. It's, it's a very large machine and then I have uh, quite a bit of workspace down there too. And my business is called Autumn Glen Quilting. excited to be able to do the meet and greets. Um, we're, we're thankful that we're able to do that even during this, this time that we're in right now. Uh, but we just look forward to being able to talk to people about our artwork. Uh, it's been especially fun for me to see my botanical prints end up on fabric. Just looking forward to being able to talk to people and share our passion for the artwork that we do and getting to to know people uh, in the community better. So I look forward to educating people a little bit more about what the quilt world is all about. So it's a, a, a wide variety of things that you can do with, with fabric and quilts and making wall art. And uh, so, yeah, I'm excited to, to uh, show off our, our, our project.